I learned when I was 10 years old that my father had left my mother. He'd had an affair, and the woman that he'd had an affair with had a child. So I've always known I've had a sibling. After doing the sample and getting my results back, and um, uploaded all of that to my heritage DNA. Within a day or two, I was getting notifications of relatives, six generations. One day, I received an email from um, Theodore Melvin, and he said, you and I have 13% DNA match. So I looked it up and discovered that with the amount of DNA he had, he was my nephew. My son gave me a call one night, and he said that he had had his DNA done. And then he said that he had been in contact with a lady who thinks that she might be my sister. And within a matter of a couple of days, we were on the phone with each other. That day that I called her, and when she picked up the phone and said hello, it's like I immediately knew just the sound of her voice. I knew that she was my blood. Hi. <laughs> that little hole that I had in my heart, seriously, of always knowing that I'd had a sibling simply closed up. It was amazing. She's told me so many things about our father that I almost feel as though I, I knew him, even though we never met. I found out where I got my singing voice from. Of all these friends and lovers, there is no one compares with you. And it has been an amazing, amazing journey. Yay, science. <laughs> Yay, my heritage DNA. <laughs> the situation of knowing that you're adopted, not knowing where you came from, not knowing who your blood was, not knowing your history. And through my heritage DNA, a lot of those questions have begun to be answered for me. And it's like parts of me that I have felt since childhood that were scattered and did not have a home are starting to fit in now.